All right, fig lovers, we have another real special variety to review today. This one's called Marseillaise, and this is very different than the White Marseille. And I think that's probably why this fig really hasn't gotten much attention in the United States. It sounds and seems to be, just from the looks of it, very similar to White Marseille. But I have to tell you that this is an extremely different fig. Um, white Marseille is a yellow skinned honey fig that uh, has a white pulp with uh, brown seeds that contrast very well. Um, it also is larger than this fruit, uh, but Marseillaise is and also a yellow skinned fruit with a reddish interior that dries really well on the tree. And so the flavors are very different, the characteristics are very different, and there's really nothing similar about them that I can tell. In any case, uh, this is another fig though that's also mentioned in Bode's book and on his website and it's grown a lot by him and propagated a lot by him. And I also find that this fig may be quite popular in other parts of um, Europe. Uh, just because when you have a fig like this that dries super well, it is a desirable characteristic. Now. I have seen uh, in writings that this fig can split, and I, I believe that's probably just due to its more spherical shape. Um, I believe my friend Big Bill in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, also uh, describes that it can split, and he was gonna be on the lookout for that to see if that trend continues. Um, so far, we haven't really had enough rain to really warrant any splitting on most of the figs. Um, and this is really the first fig of the year off of this tree. It may also be pollinated, noted by the uh, black sharpie mark there on the stem. And a lot of the crop now is starting to ripen. This, I would argue, is a very productive fruit, very productive variety, um, producing on almost every single node. And uh, so it's also rather prolific. It's productive, it grows well, but it's somewhat dwarf, I would argue, as well. It's a slower growing tree. Um, regardless though, it has that closer node spacing. And so I'm not really sure if it's just, the branches are thinner, which I think they are, and the nodes are closer. So it's more dwarf to me, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna produce less fruit. Um, it just seems like these varieties like Verdino del Nord and Rochilla de Elba that produce smaller figs, they dry well, they have closer node spacing, they produce a lot more fruit typically. Um, but the fruits are smaller. Now, smaller fruits are better in terms of quality on average. I've talked a lot about this with other growers, um, and a lot of us agree that the larger the fig, typically the lower in quality it can be in, for people who are in a humid place. In drier places where you have like, you know, low humidity of 40, 30%, definitely sub 50, the fruits will start to actually evaporate the water, uh, that, that drier air evaporates the water out of the fruit as it ripens and they dry quicker and they concentrate better. And so you can get away with a larger fruit typically. Um, here, we have too much humidity and that's just very difficult for a larger fig to shrivel and dry on the tree. It's gotta be somewhat smaller. And uh, this fits the bill. This is a long awaited variety actually for me because again, it, it's very similar in category to what I think of as Verdino del Nord and Neruccio de Elba or Figoin, uh, the Verdino del Nord from Vladimir Rocco. And um, because again, it's small, dries well, productive, and should taste great. I mean, it's got all those categories and a lot of growers actually will compare the three I've seen um, Claudio in Italy actually compare these uh, a little bit and mention that he likes the Verdino del Nord from Vladimir Rocco, uh, or at least that particular fig, whatever you want to call it. He likes that one the most. I think he calls it Figolino, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's also... I think he may even like the Marseillaise a little bit more than the Elva because he doesn't like the bitter skin on the Elva. Um, but nonetheless, this is a really just, I've been very anxious to compare these. 
Wow, that's very interesting. Uh, this, because it's potentially pollinated, has a very strange pulp color to it. And I wonder if uh, I should test the seeds or at least see if there's a lot of seed crunch. Maybe the flavor has changed to some degree. But I remember this being more of a uh, red pulped variety. I believe I fruited this last year. I have two of these in the ground, by the way, in anticipation of really expecting great things from this variety. Um, so there's the inside. Again, very strange brown pulp. Could be just the fact this is the first fig of the year off of this tree. First figs sometimes are a bit weird. Has a very strong smell from it. Very fruity, very good brown sugar flavor, actually. And it has a lot of crunch. And I would suspect this is pollinated. I'm gonna save this other half. Um, I might test the seeds, but I'm probably gonna just take the seeds out of here. What I've been discovering is that the seeds are not sinking. And um, the only real way to, I think, the test is actually just to try to germinate the seeds and see if they were pollinated. So I'm gonna save the seeds see if they're pollinated. To me, this is exceptional, but it's more of a sugar fig, no real berry, but there's a really nice fruitiness to it that's stronger than most fruits that I've tasted, almost to the level of like Rosalino. Rosalino has a really nice fruity flavor and so does Salce. Actually, I tasted this year for the first time and that's an incredibly fruity fig. Um, I remember actually in the past, and I would probably agree that Ronde, um, Ronde Bordeaux is a little bit, is quite fruity. So is Pastelier, a bit fruity. And even Moro de Caneva in the past has been rather fruity. Um, yeah, this is exceptional. I think obviously it's a high quality fruit and potentially even pollinated. So uh, this is definitely very special. Thanks for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Check out the blog, figboss.com. See you guys for the next video. Take care.